Hey there, Internet Keeve here, and welcome to the Cars of Keeve YouTube channel. As you can see in the background, we are in a new area. This is my bottom garage. We've moved from up there to down here. We're going to try to turn this into a wash base. So it's going to be a long work in progress. We're going to have to paint the walls, get everything set up. We got noises going on here that we're going to have to try to cancel out. So bear with me. We're going to be doing a review today on the McKillen's Swivel Spray Gun and Lance. Here's your spray gun. You have a mixture of stainless steel and brass. Uh, it's got a little bit of tension and to hold it down so we're going to check later for fatigue on that but it's a nice little built system here we're going to put this up against the SGS 28 even though the SGS 28 is a little bit higher level and definitely much more expensive here's the lance has a nice ergonomic plastic piece right here on the wand you have about a 20 degree maybe 18 or so degree uh, bend right here you have your quarter inch fittings on front and back that's about 20 inches long so let's check this out more up close Here's our gun and lance. This is simple. There's a whole lot of moving parts going on here. You just have your quick disconnect here. You have your female quick disconnect at the top. This is your ergonomic design second hand grip. On the device here, you have your swivel, three eighth inch male plug on the bottom, quarter inch female plug on the top. It's just really good sturdy plastic, nice form factor, not huge, uh, small. The prices on these are really good. Uh, the swivel gun right here is about $60. It's a little bit less, but I don't want to say too much less because the prices go up and down. The wand right here is about $35 as well, both on Amazon. Now I don't have a direct comparable on the Lance, but I do on the gun, not direct, direct um, form factor size. Um, they're pretty close. Um, the swivel actually protrusion at the bottom is pretty close on both the SGS obviously is a little bit less and the SGS 28 is actually all stainless steel on the inside there's not much brass at all in this unit um, the SGS is shorter here um, this is you know a little more rectangular right here this is more curved just slight differences, a little more ergonomic curve on the back of the SGS28, but this is like $85 with the fittings installed. This is 60 bucks with the fittings installed. So they're on different level when it comes to price. Um, so you could get this and the Lance together for almost the same price for just this gun. Spec wise, they're both 3000 max PSI, which is gonna get you almost just about every electric pressure washer out there. And most of the smaller, lower end, um, gas pressure washers just depending on the nozzle set you're using but the uh, SGS 28 runs at 4.0 gallons per minute the uh, McKillen's is at about 2.6 gallons per minute now for this test we are using my hose reel my hose but we are going to be using the Greenworks 1700 1 1.2 gallons per minute but with the right nozzles you can get it to 1.4 ish so this is more of what the majority of probably my audience is using well, I was actually just filming the foam can review for McKillen's and guess what? It leaves me a canvas here to rinse off. So I've said in many videos before that I'm not the biggest fan of wands, but I'm gonna go ahead and give it a good review. Like I said, I have nothing against them. I just don't like them myself, especially most of my cars are really low. I don't have to reach, but let's go ahead and give this a review. So far the wand's fine, feels good in the hand. The ergonomic grip is not bad on your hand at all. The angle's pretty good. There's not really anything bad that I can say about this. Just the fact that I personally don't like wands. Um, but the gun itself, the trigger, it has a little bit of tension. And that tension pushes against your hand as you have it held down all the way. It wants to push your hand out. So you're having to press harder to get it to stay, which leads to wrist and hand fatigue. Uh, we'll try it over the whole car to see how it feels, but I definitely can feel I can feel that tension. All right, let's continue. I'm definitely starting to feel a little bit of fatigue in my hands. It's not bad uh, for over the whole length of a car. I'm not sure, but it's 
it's definitely it takes a lot more effort to pull back and like I said once it's held back you have to hold on to keep it from wanting to fly back out like this. let's try the feel of the gun without the wand So now the SG is 28, the comparable. This is my favorite gun. So, so easy that is to pull in. And it, it doesn't want to fly out. It doesn't have a ton of tension. It's really easy to pull. So the SGS-28 definitely felt better in the hand. Uh, the curvature is a little bit more form-fitting to my hand and definitely a lot easier to pull the trigger and hold the trigger. Now one thing I will tell you though is the swivel on both of these are about the same. Now the SGS-28 has been broken in for a very long time and initially it was a lot harder to turn than it is now, but they both turn at about the same rate. So actually if you put the two side by side, they're actually about the same dimensions. The only difference is, is the SGS-28 has a different angle. It angles out more, the McKillens goes straight more. Same at the bottom. Now the SGS-28 swivel has been broken in for a much longer period of time than the McKillens, but they're about the same right now. I do remember in the beginning with the SGS-28, it was much tighter. It took a lot to get to this point. Uh, and, but the McKillens spins really well. Uh, it felt good on the hose. They were both about the same. But actually you can see here, the SGS-28, even with this built-in swivel, isn't that much longer. Uh, it's maybe a quarter inch less in height and overall less bulkiness, but it's not that big of a difference. So are the McKillens swivel spray gun and Lance worth it? Absolutely. Now, like I said before, I'm not the biggest fan of wands, just because I just, I like prefer just the gun. But it's the right length, it's the right angle, it's built well, ergonomics are pretty good here. Now the gun, swivels really nice. Like I said before, the tension is there, let me show you. So this is what I'm talking about. The amount of tension it takes to push it in. And that's fine, a lot of guns do that, but a lot of them, once you get it in, it kind of stays in really easy. This one, it, wants to, it really wants to push your hand out, so it gives you a little fatigue there. Outside of that, great construction, great price, 60 bucks for a swiveled gun, much cheaper than the SGS-28. On par, you saw sizes, the only difference is there's a little bit of angle here and there, but the amount of plastic and everything is about the same. Overall, this plastic is just really nice, it's built really well, it's a nice form factor, just really good. So check out the Amazon links below, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. So here's our sprinkles. Okay, the great thing about... A car, first car on this side of the house. The review comes the kid on a little two stroke. So far I'm feeling a little, tr so far I'm, yeah, I'm definitely starting to feel it. I'm definitely starting to feel, a I'm definitely starting a little, I'm definitely starting to feel a little fatigue. And you'll notice the difference, diff the SGS 2820, 20, but actually you can, but actually you can see here, oh my God. Like, oh, it's freaking shadows, man. Look at this. 
I gotta fix this lighting down here.